Now then my friends, if you've been watching the channel in the last few days, you will know that I've spent a fair amount of time here at Kings Mill Hospital. Uh, and before we start, I want to thank everybody again for the thousands and thousands of get well messages uh, that I've received from you. It means a, a massive amount to me. It means a great deal. So thank you. Thank you so much for all those messages. And I'd also like to thank the staff here at Kings Mill Hospital. Uh, they have been absolutely brilliant. I cannot speak highly enough of the staff here at Kings Mill Hospital and uh, the NHS have been fantastic. And thank you for, to the NHS. They are brilliant. Now, as you know, I've been for a CT scan uh, of which I got the results back. I've also had a full MOT. In fact, I'm like a 1970s Ford Capri now who's had its uh, ball joints oiled and its tyres kicked and it's almost ready to get back on the road again. Um, my blood test came back and uh, my blood sugars are good. Uh, my um, cholesterol levels are excellent uh, and uh, my blood pressure is good as well. So um, that is good. Um, on the flip side, the bad news is the CT scan which I had, which was a little weird. I've had one before. They put a cannula in your arm and um, then they put dye into your body before they do the CT scan and it, you, you can feel it in the back of your throat and taste it and it feels like you're weeing yourself as well which is a little embarrassing um, but anyway that came back the results of the CT scan, CT scan came back um, and the doctor came and said that uh, unfortunately the CT scan has shown something else a little bit more sinister which is the fact that my liver is enlarged and I said I'd been explaining to them I've been finding it difficult to, to get my breath and uh, well that liver's now pushing onto my lungs which is what's making it difficult for me to breathe um, and I said to her is it anything to do with you know do I need to cut back on the alcohol and she said or do I need to cut out the alcohol altogether uh, and she said no you just drink it in moderation you'll be fine everything in moderation however I've taken uh, it to, uh, on my back to go totally totally teetotal now this has been a bit of a wake-up call for me I'm going to do this for my uh, myself and my family so there will be no more one euro pints I can still do the search for the one euro pint but I'm going to cut out alcohol completely now uh, and make a brand new start so there'll be no Jameson there'll be no one euro pints on the flip side though uh, the good news is it means I'll be able to um, drink lots more Yorkshire tea uh, so Yorkshire Tea, if you're watching, then uh, there's a good sponsorship deal for you there. Uh, so uh, there we go. So from today, well, it's a couple of weeks now since I've had a, a drink anyway. So from a couple of weeks ago, no more drinking uh, apart from uh, Yorkshire Tea, water and soft drinks for me. Uh, so um, yeah, been a bit of a bit of bit of a wake up call. Next week I have to go back to hospital again. I'll give you another update. I won't update you until then. Uh, I've got to go and have a an ultrasound on my um, on my liver uh, to see exactly uh, what's wrong with it and how they can rectify that. They, they have been absolutely fantastic here, I really can't speak uh, highly enough of them. So, uh, so there we go, a little update for you, got to continue with the blood thinners for now, the rest of the course of the blood thinners, come back for the uh, ultrasound and hopefully I'll be as good as new and get ready to go back on the road again. I did say to the doctor, do I need to cut out all the fish and chips? And she said, everything in moderation, you'll be fine. And I don't actually eat as many fish and chips and full English breakfast as you actually may think. It looks like that on camera, but off camera, I eat quite healthily to be, uh, to be fair. I eat lots of sushi and uh, Sarah cooks lots of rice and chicken, etc. and uh, things like that. Sarah works for the NHS, so she's very, very healthy with food, etc. So uh, there we go. So um, I'm looking forward to getting back again, uh, but uh, it, it won't be just yet. However, I do have a couple of videos coming out, which is the journey back from the US uh, on Virgin Atlantic and also my journey back up to Mansfield. So please do watch them for me and give them a thumbs up. Uh, they're almost edited now and I can put them out in the next day or two. So make sure you watch them. And then next week I shall give you an update uh, on my ultrasound with my, I'm getting out of breath now, my ultrasound uh, with my liver. So thanks for watching. Thanks again for all the get well messages and um, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and I love you all. Bye bye.